The inquest has opened into the UVF murder of a 76-year-old woman in an isolated area near Dungannon in 1994. Roseanne Mallon was gunned down in a hail of bullets as she tried to run to safety. Army surveillance equipment, including a hidden camera, was found near the scene, sparking claims of security force collusion in the killing. Jane Lockery reports. On the 8th of May 1994, 76-year-old Roseanne Mallon, who was staying with her sister-in-law near Dungannon because she was afraid of being robbed, was shot numerous times after UVF gunmen opened fire. The pensioner, who was watching television in the living room, died almost instantly. This morning, a long-delayed inquest into her murder, for whom no one has ever been convicted, opened in Belfast. The UVF said its Mid-Ulster Brigade had set out to target relations of Miss Mallon, who were involved in the Republican movement. In the wake of the shooting, army surveillance equipment, including a hidden camera, were found in a field overlooking the house, sparking claims of security force collusion in the killing. The unmanned camera transmitted footage to soldiers stationed in a nearby wood. Roseanne Mallon's nephew and godson, Martin Mallon, told her inquest he'd asked the police at the time whether or not the unmanned camera may have recorded the murder. The then investigating officer said the camera was of no value to the murder inquiry as it was not capable of night recording. That is something the Mallon family dispute. Martin Mallon told the court they asked a UTV or BBC cameraman to have a look at the camera for them. It was his conclusion the camera had night vision and the capacity to zoom. In court, Roseanne Mallon was described as an intelligent and devout woman who was well known and loved by everyone in the area, Catholic and Protestant alike. Her sister-in-law, Bridget Mallon, gave an account of how she'd said prayers and sprinkled holy water over the pensioner's body, but there was no response. Forensic teams recovered nine spent bullet casings from the driveway and 15 strike marks throughout the house. The inquest, one of 29 controversial legacy inquests from the Troubles, is scheduled to last for two weeks and will hear evidence from soldiers involved in surveillance operations at Bridget Mallon's home, some of whom have been granted anonymity, while others have been permitted to give evidence from behind screens, despite objections from the lawyers representing the families. Jane Lockery, UTV Live, Belfast.